Now, it's a startling new revelation in the mysterious death of Michael Jackson's sister-in-law, Dee Dee Jackson. Hard copy has learned that Dee Dee's boyfriend, Don Bohanna, was present during another drowning that ended in the deaths of two women. Jody Baskerville has the exclusive. Dee Dee Jackson. Mystery has surrounded her tragic death since she was found floating face down in her boyfriend's backyard swimming pool. A final verdict has not been reached on just how Dee Dee Jackson died. Her boyfriend, Don Bohanna, has been under a cloud of suspicion ever since. Now adding to the controversy, a shocking new development from Don Bohanna's past. Hard copy now knows Bohanna was present during the accidental drowning of two women in Marina del Rey, California. Don Bohanna wouldn't discuss the incident with us, but according to his attorney, Bohanna's boat capsized in shallow water during a party. Like Dee Dee Jackson, the two women who drowned couldn't swim. The double drowning in Marina del Rey was officially ruled accidental, but the case involving Dee Dee Jackson hasn't been closed just yet. In this 911 call, Don Bohanna said Dee Dee fell into the pool. He later changed his story. He told investigators she jumped in for a swim after the couple had a few drinks in the jacuzzi. Well, I don't think it was intentional, his different stories, if you want to call it that. But, you know, when he did, like I said, they did have a few drinks. It was just nervousness. He didn't know what to do. Donna Bohanna was a friend of Dee Dee Jackson's. She also happens to be Don Bohanna's daughter. Dee Dee was helping her plan her wedding. Ironically, Donna was married on the day Dee Dee was buried. Now in this exclusive interview, Donna Bohanna comes forward to tell what happened the night Dee Dee died. He just said they were swimming. They had been in the jacuzzi and, and swimming and back in the jacuzzi having a few drinks. He had gotten out of the pool and he noticed that she wasn't swimming. He immediately jumped in uh, with all his might, threw her out of the pool and started giving her mouth-to-mouth -mouth resuscitation. But sources close to the Jackson family have said that Dee Dee was only just learning to swim. In fact, her fear of the water was well documented throughout her marriage to Tito Jackson. Did you ever see her swim no, in the pool? No, because I was never over there when they were you know, together a lot. But I mean, I did see her laying out by the pool. And I have seen her bathing suits there. Donna Bohanna says the last time she spoke with Dee Dee was just three hours before her death. I had talked to them about one in the morning. And her last words were, I'll see you Sunday. But Sunday never came for Dee Dee Jackson. On the same day the Jackson family said their final goodbye to Dee Dee, Donna Bohanna went through with the wedding Dee Dee helped her plan. I know that she would be saying, Donna, get yourself together. Go ahead and have your wedding. We worked too hard for this. So I said, OK, I'm going to compromise internally. I'm not going to have the big wedding. I'm not going to go on my honeymoon. But I will have my family and friends. Today, there are still nagging doubts surrounding the death of Dee Dee Jackson. But for Donna Bohanna, the real tragedy is having to deal with the loss of a friend and the accusations against her father. Does he blame himself? I can't say whether he blames himself or not, but he, I don't know if he does. But I know it hurts him. I can see it all over his face, but it's really not his fault. It's hard to say exactly what happened, but I'm sure we'll all find out. And at the end of this, I just think that the Jackson family owes my father an apology. You know, it was like people were blaming him. Through his daughter, Don Bohanna says he wants to solve this mystery as much as the police and the Jackson family. In fact, he says he's launched his own investigation. He believes Dee Dee's death was more than just a simple drowning. Bohanna says Dee Dee may have been on medication that affected her judgment that night. Barry?